And, and I often heard CP called the orphan disability because they don't know what to do with us. We're just weird. You know, they, these other disabilities that are around, they track pretty well. But, but we're off the charts. We don't track well. And um, I, I kind of like that. But it, but it is lonely out there. So this is what this group does, I think. This is one of the functions of this group. And this is why, why I'm very proud to be with this group. Um, you, son, you talked about startle reflex. Girl, I tell you what, I, I've hit the roof several times in my life. I can jump higher than anybody in this world. Oh. Uh, if it, my, my office is, is uh, designed to have nobody behind me. I see everybody that's coming in and out in front of me because I, I could not live if my death was the other way because I think I would just die. And I, I'm convinced that I'm going to die of a heart attack because I'm going, to, I'm going to be like that cat that gets scared and just croaks. So maybe not, but um, it's either that or choking. Matter of fact, um, do you want to talk any more about Star Reflex? Hey guys, how many people get scared with the choking, choking challenge? How many people get scared? Most of us. That choking issue is a big issue. Uh, and it's getting worse as I get older. Of course, my reflective partner that caught my wife tells me it's because I don't watch what I'm doing and I don't slow down and I don't chew my food right and uh, it, the list goes on. But, um, you know, I tell you, I've almost, it's been two or three times that I, I thought, I thought, okay, I'm gone. I'm going to heaven. I hope. And uh, so, okay, Joe, Joe and Bill, shut up. Um, but it's real, uh, who, who else would like to say anything about choking or anything else? Um, I have three blue books. Uh, it, 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 I don't know bad, but I, I, um, I need to be, be careful. I stop a lot, a lot of things because of my dumb rebel looks. She has bad acid reflux. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Molly? Uh, my family has a rule for me. Well, many rules. But the main rule is no choking. It's a joke. But yeah. Um, the other thing I want to say is for me, if my body could send me away to adult protective or, you know, um, call, I am so abusive to my body um, because everything I do takes more energy than someone else without my disability. So I'm hard on my legs and my knees and when I walk, it, you know, I, I have people tell me when I use my pedometer and I walk, when I'm done, I can time to it by four because it's like, it, it, it's beyond the energy that people without this disability give out. 
So I I think that is part of the what what might um, make the aging process quicker and harder. I, I, I totally agree with you, and I believe I don't know if you were at the conference in uh, '93. I know David was at the UCP conference, and we actually had a lot of consumers that year, and uh, or people with cerebral palsy, and we talked about CP years, and I I don't have any doubt because. I, I bet you we run a one one point two to one point five ratio on our normal age, depending on your your um, level of 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 cerebral palsy, depending on your um, scale. Christine, you want the mic? I was going to. And about, oh, I would say about four years ago, I was saying no, with tender eyes, tender eyes in my left knee. And I mean, I can take, I can go to physical therapy to take care of it. But they all, I really have to be aware of my body and realize how I walk. Otherwise, that me will fill up and fall for nose. It's not very good. I wasn't going to bring that up. <laughs> well, it wasn't pretty. Well, her 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 ability to drive a scooter <laughs> is, is is less than desirable, and I I think I lost Vegas was they didn't they give me money to leave? <laughs> it, it kept the hospital in uh in 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 business. Um, Li Liza is a latecomer, so we, if we can get her data. We'll come back to you, Edward. They're just doing introductions and you not say your name and how old you are and they're talking about the aging process. When, how old were you if you noticed any sort of aging things have started happening? Well, my name is Liza Patchell and I'm from Ken Island, Maryland. And I noticed my aging process when I was about 15 but I I have noticed since I've been exercising and going to therapy and I never stopped going to therapy that I'm doing better 28 um I started feeling um, like I was aging at 15. Yeah, but what made you feel like you were aging at 15? Oh, my arthritis. Arthritis. Thank you. Let's go to Edward. My concern is every year, we confirm the aging process, but does this information get into the hands of doctors and therapists? This is a strong concern of mine. We, uh, yesterday, uh, Dr. Tulsi came at 9 o'clock, and we had a big, a lot to talk about that, and get, distributing the information, and there's a website that Laura can talk about, and, and uh, we'll post all that on the webpage. But you're at, you're absolutely right. And we, and we had, oh, you're not going to let me take your mic, huh, Robert? Uh, <laughs> Edward, I just did want to um, say to you that there is 
beginning to be some recognition of the early aging process. And in fact, there are a couple, a couple, just, I mean, a very few articles out there. Um, I think at the Atlanta meeting from which this Red Book came two years ago, um, it was very clear, it was, it was very well attended. There were probably almost 150 people there, um, all physicians and therapists and so forth, and some policymakers. So there clearly is a recognition that something's going on, but nobody has taken it and run with it in terms of really being able to study it. Um, Gillette in, oh, is it the Duluth group? I think it's Duluth. Or it might be actually in Minneapolis. They have an adult with disabilities clinic, and they are collecting some data um, on those issues. Um, I think they're mostly looking at bone health, and nobody's mentioned bone health while we've been here, um, but that certainly is a huge issue, and that's one that people are really catching on to. So the answer really is there's an awareness, but there's not any data. This is a strong concern of mine. Oh. But anybody experiencing in bone fractures? A little bit, James? One, one second. This uh, past spring, I uh, got a bone bruise actually going into a pool. At my uh, right foot clawed around the uh, pool chair, and I thought it felt a little bit funny. And I went for PT the next uh, day. We went to stand me up, and I sat right back down. And PT said, get looked at. They said, it's a bone bruise, not a fracture, but I fractured that foot before. And uh, I know that's not typical. This is Daisy. Yeah. 